Well, <laughs> let's see if this works. All right. I'm back at it. Something happened to my um, cell phone um, from when I dropped my phone. It says something about my SIM card, but my SIM card is in there. But it's, it's something. When my phone dropped, it took my SIM card out. So I guess that means that right now. Wow. When I dropped my phone, somehow... no idea it's trying to say my it's not recognizing my sim <laughs> is, is that what it's going to take for me to drop my phone again for my sim to activate <laughs> what in the world your phone needs the sim to work you may not have inserted your i dropped my phone and it caused my you know i gotta drop my phone again Let's see if that worked. <laughs> okay. Like, no, no, no one report me to Verizon and be like, uh, my sim is in there. Okay, y'all. Can y'all hear me? <laughs> Hopefully you can hear me now. But you're on my laptop and I don't like being on my laptop in the kitchen. But, you know, what can a girl do? Hey, Brenda. Hey, G Mama. Peekaboo. I can hear you now. Hey, K Renee. So, I'm having some technical difficulties because I know what's going on. I mean, but I don't know why it's going on. I dropped my cell phone, and when I dropped my cell phone, for some reason, the phone is not reading that I have my SIM card. And the SIM card couldn't come out of it because I have a case on it. You see what I'm saying? Like the SIM card is down here, but for some reason, if it ain't one thing, it's another. I, I, I tell you. Anyway, how are y'all doing, good people? Hey, G, how are you doing? K. Hey, Renee, things happen. I can hear and see. Yeah, because um, I'm on the handy dandy laptop showing off my melon. That might be too much light for us, right? <laughs> yeah, the light is a little weird, but just bear with me. Just be here for a good time, okay? Because we're about to have a good time, okay? It just got an extra lighting because this is really not set up for a laptop, but this is what happens in life. When things happen, you just go with the flow, be fluid like water. The river always goes forward and it doesn't go backwards. I like that, <laughs> that t-shirt drip. Power the phone off and then off it may help. Yeah, that's what I did. I when, when I powered it back on, it said that my SIM card was missing. So somewhere upstairs, I have the um, device where you can take the SIM card out of the cell phone. So I will use that. But in the meantime, hey, Al, how are you doing? Um, I am not going. Oh, it's my halo. <laughs> I am not going to let that stop me because we have some serious cooking to do. Okay. Yes. The melanin is popping. <laughs> um, I'm making a chicken pot pie, pie. And of course, on my channel, I do have 30 minute chicken pot pie pies. Anybody want to check that out using pie crust from the, um, from the store. But tonight... I am using puff pastry sheets for the pot pie, okay? And um, I had some chicken breast. So now we're getting ready to make it happen. Um, the chicken breast, I cut the chicken breast. I mean, I cooked the chicken breast. I just boiled it, water. And this is why I like to use my... Um, cell phone so I can take y'all down. I let this sit for an hour. Now they're ready to do what needs to be done. Um, I'm 
we're going to use a pie dish. Yes, it's going to be flaky and it's going to be delicious. Now, you will need an egg wash. Um, I'm going to wash my hands. I do have um, some mixed vegetables that I let sit out for a little bit. I have some cream of chicken with herbs and I have some regular cream of chicken. Um, you can do just cream of chicken. I wouldn't suggest just um, cream of um, mushroom. The cream of chicken has um, some different flavoring going on, but we are going to add some flavor ourselves. And I will share with you. We're going to add some garlic powder, some onion powder, and remember the seasoning that I told you about from Trader Joe's, everything but leftovers. This is so delicious. Make sure you have some when Thanksgiving comes. So you can add this in your gravy, your poultry, your dressing. Uh, hello, I am here to help you. So let's get to making this. I'm going to throw this in the oven because I'm also going to make the dessert that we're having tomorrow for dinner, but it needs to sit in the refrigerator overnight. So this is a chicken breast. Make sure your chicken is fully cooked before you um, put it in the pie pie. We don't want the chicken not to be done. And I'm gonna bring it up here so you can see how I'm cutting, well not how, what it looks like with the chicken once I cut it. Since now, because of my technical difficulties, now, you see this? Mm. Mmm. <laughs> there it is. That's it. Um so good. Now I am using chicken breast. You don't have to. But whatever you use, make sure it's boneless. <laughs> And uh, I actually did four chicken breasts, but because these chicken breasts are so big, hit the thumbs up button for your girl real quick before we proceed. <laughs> um, we're only gonna need um, three of them. Then I can save the other chicken breasts and I can actually, Chop that up, use that broth that's with it, add some chicken bouillon and some vegetables. And there you have it, some chicken soup. So I'm gonna put this to the side. You could also do shredded chicken sandwich, barbecue chicken salad, if you wanted to. I'm just saying. My cooking shears. <laughs> hey, Janet, how are you doing? Let's take our nice chicken. Yes. If you are watching this and you have not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. And if you are watching this, please hit that thumbs up button for your girl. And I have an announcement. Uh, it may have, when I woke up this morning, fair, I felt so, so a bit sore. Huh? What's going on? Um, when I woke up this morning, well, here's your chicken. When I woke up this morning, I woke up to over 1,600 subscribers. So thank you very much for all my new subscribers. Please turn on your notification bell so that you will know when I go live and when new content is added. Now, this is two pounds. You're not going to need two pounds. I'm going to do about half of this bag. 
okay? So one pound. Mix this up. I'm going to show you what this is going to look like. All right, chicken pot pie. Maybe just a little bit more. That's good. We're going to take our cream of chicken with herbs. Well, you can just use cream of chicken, but I want to use this cream of chicken with herbs. Okay? Now, if you like to spice things up a little bit, Add some Cajun seasoning to this, okay? <laughs> yes! However, um, there's only two of us in the household that like um, spicy food. So... Got to be respectful for everyone who's in the household. However, if it was me and just my youngest son, then I would probably add some Cajun seasoning to this. Now, this is what you have. You have your chicken, your mixed vegetable, and that. But before I get to stirring, I'm going to add some garlic powder. Yep, that felt right. Some onion powder. Yep, I felt that. And some everything but leftovers. Yeah. Woo! Wee! Yeah. Yes, honey. And we're gonna add some pepper. Say mama son, mama kusa. I'm gonna say mama son. Yep, there you go. Now I'm going to mix it. I tried to get away from it. You know what I'm saying? Because, whoo, this pepper, honey. Mmm. 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 Woo-wee, honey. Mmm. Woo. I'm about to tell you something. Take a little bit heavy whipping cream. Woo. Honey. Woo. That pepper. You know I'm not measuring. I'm letting my spirit lead me, honey. My spirit. <laughs> okay. <sighs> um, and I'm gonna add a little whisker shear. A little bit. Same on the song. There you go. Mix this up. Mmm. Hmm. Mmm. Hmm. Now, I'm going to put this into a pie dish. I'm going to also put it into um, a rectangular, a rectangular um, dish. Um, if you wanted to do a 13 by 9, then I would have said, cut up the other chicken breast, use the whole thing of vegetables, whatever. But taste that. Make sure I got everything that you got that you want going on in it. Now, ding, 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 ding. Hey, Maria. What do I do with those cooking shears? Y'all know I'll be putting stuff everywhere. All right. So let's get to it. Ain't nothing but to do it. Let's get to it. Um, now, the difference between this and the other one that's on my dish, on my um, channel, there's two that come in here, just like with your pie crust, <coughs> is that this is actually going to um, be flakier. Now, you see that? That is not enough to put at the bottom of the pan. So we move all this out the way. Let me get my little bag from grocery shopping. Woo! 
on my table, <laughs> the pepper, excuse me, on my table over there are bushels of collard greens, fresh, that I'm going to be making tomorrow. And uh, I think I'm going to have the husband um, blanch them tonight, cut them and blanch them. That was one of the things that I taught him how to do. <laughs> So kudos to the husband, the husband man. Mm. All right. I'm going to just put a little flour down so that it doesn't stick. And I have some flour over here, which I probably shouldn't open up. But uh, I also wanted to share with you, I'm going to make some um, homemade um, rolls tomorrow. I have some bread flour. I just want to share that with y'all. Hey, who are we talking to? Hey, Maureen, how are you doing? I'm glad that whatever just happened, it just triggered me. Um, these are big pieces of uh, chuck, a beef chuck. I'm making these tomorrow. Um, the same way that you would do a, a Mississippi pot roast, but it's going to be individual pieces, chunks. So... Let me get some flour. You know, organization, y'all. Organization, I'm all for it. You know, I have multiple rollers. I'm not going to use this one, but I did want to share that with you because my colleague and friend, Bridget, got that for me, cooking with Dorsha. Okay. And she also got me this, cooking with Dorsha. If you're watching this, hit that thumbs up button for your girl. Because I see more people liking than I see thumbs. Woo! Yes. Just a little bit of flour, not too much, okay? Because we need to just roll this a little bit. So this is puff pastry. Take the paper off. Put that down. And I just need it to fill the um, bottom part of the pie dish. And we're going to use the other part for the top of the pie dish of our pot pie. And this pepper really got me going, y'all. So let's see. Mm, hallelujah. <laughs> Uh-oh. More make it more wide that way. Now I'm gonna put it in here and see what we're working with. Not bad, not bad. I'll let y'all know. It's long enough. It's deficient on some of the side, but that's okay because we are going to use the other part when it comes over and then we're going to tuck it. Okay. So see this, but it's long enough right here. When we put the other one on top, we'll make sure that everything encloses on the inside. But let's get our mixture. We're going to put it in here. Ooh. Wee, baby. Baby. Ooh, honey. Yes. Mm. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. All right. Some people like cheese. There's, I, I, I don't want cheese in my um, pot pie, but to each his own, if that's what you would like. <laughs> Does it still puff when it's rolled? Yep, it's going to. Um, now, we're going to take this. Let me see. 
and it out. Oh, yes. Hunty. Woo. And you have to let these thaw. You have to let these thaw. And now I'm going to start the folding process. And Mm. I took some off of one side to put it over here on the other side, but you still need to vent it at the top with a slice or two. I don't know if you can see that. Okay. One, two, vent. There you have it. I already have the oven going. 375, you could do 350. Now remember, everything that I just put in the pot pie for all intents and purposes is cooked. For the most part. So let's not do too much. Like it's okay for vegetables to be raw, but don't put raw meat in your pot pie. Yeah. Now we're letting the inside cook, letting the crust cook. Oh, wait a minute. Why didn't y'all remind me? You'd be like, Dorsey, you fussing at us. Let's do our egg wash. Now, the thing about it is when I do the pie crust, I don't do an egg wash, but for this puff pastry, we're going to do an egg, uh, egg wash. We need to separate our yolk. Uh, I have ramekins in almost every size. Yeah. yeah. Come on. Yeah. All right. There you go. Mm. bit of water to this. Let me get my brush. Fill uh, that all in there. Yes, this should be nice. Yeah. All right. I know you can't really see it, but it's going in here. All right. Dun 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 Mm, mm, mm. Okay, anyway. All right, let's clean up a little bit. Okay, so the other thing that I wanted to share with you um, is the dessert that I'm making tomorrow. I'm also making bread. Um, the bread will be a simple recipe. Um, it's going to be yeast, bread flour, some milk, salt, just very simple. 
I may record it and turn it into a video so I can share. I'm holding on to my eggshells. I have a collection to go into my garden. And they're just sitting there waiting. Now, I am going to make banana pudding tomorrow. But I'm going to share with you right now what I'm going to do different because I make my banana pudding pretty much one or two ways. Either it's just bananas or it's banana and strawberries. Well, now I'm getting ready to add another fruit. Peekaboo! And uh, I'm going to take you along with me. Also, with my banana pudding, I use chessman cookies, which is like a shortbread cookie. I do not like vanilla wafers. Never have. Don't care for them at all. Now, I do need to find out, ah, uh, there it is. Hmm. You see this right here? <laughs> I almost forgot, because for my banana pudding, I'm going to add a different um, type of crust on the top of it the strawberry shortcake crunch stuff on top of my banana pudding. Okay. Are y'all ready? Are y'all ready for this? And in order to do that, you're going to need um, some strawberry gelatin. I also have an unflavored one, but anyway. Oh, this should be interesting. This should be interesting. Onion, garlic, and oh, where does G start? G, garlic, garlic. Nothing likes little organization. I'm telling you. I don't know how people can function in disarray. It just drives me crazy. So, the ingredients for this banana pudding. First. Of course, we're going to need bananas. Oh, there are the bananas. Banana, banana, banana. I'm going to use bananas. <laughs> we're going to use strawberries. And we're going to use pineapples. We're going to use cheesecake filling. We're going to use Cool Whip. We're going to use sweetened condensed milk. We're going to use cream cheese. We're going to use chessman cookies. And we're going to top it with the strawberry crunch from the strawberry shortcake cake crunch from back in the day. Okay. Pika boo. Hey, Jay. What's going on? Diversity. Love. Yes, I declutter regularly. Yes. Hey, Psalms. Yes. How is it going to tell me? Oh, I just got notifications. So whoever's watching, somebody's getting ready to have to look at ads. But uh, yeah, that part. <laughs> so in starting with all of it, let's uh, first figure out what dish we're going to, what pan we're going to put this in. Regular 13 by 19. Well, really, this is a nine, nine and a half by 13. Now, I'm going to put some chessman cookies at the bottom of this, okay? 
if you do like vanilla wafer, this is the part where you put whatever that is that you like. And maybe you're like, I don't like either one of them. Well, guess what? You can do graham crackers. You could do um, pretzels. Put the pretzels in the... Um, put pretzels in a food processor or a blender. Blend them and add some melted butter. And uh, make it do what it do. Because... I'm going to take these and I'm going to put these in a blender and let me get out my melted butter. But um, let me eat one just to make sure it's safe for the family. Mm. 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 Same on the so I'm a mocking pie. But, mm, 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 mm. The first time, Janet, I saw someone using chessman cookies for their banana pudding was Paula Dean. And this was many, many moons ago. And since time, I've seen, you know, several people. But the first time I saw it was Paula Dean. Now, I know she's gone through whatever, for whatever reason. I'm not here to talk about nobody, their shortcomings. And I'm not, I'm not here to counsel anybody. But I thank that woman for that recipe because I don't like vanilla wafer. So... Anyway. Woo. Oh, I got my um hold on y'all. I got my turkey of uh, smoked turkey over here and it needs to go into the refrigerator. Um this is going into smoked turkey um tails. It's going into my collard greens tomorrow. And I'm thinking that tomorrow for my collard greens, because I've only done it one time and, and they turned out wonderfully. I'm going to put them in my Instant Pot. So there you go. I think that's who it was. You know what I mean? Hey, my Renaissance grandma. So anyway, there you go. Put those at the bottom. Um, let's go ahead and cut up our fruit. Then we're gonna mix our cream cheese, sweetened condensed milk. Matter of fact, let me do this first. I usually use either vanilla, French vanilla, but I'm gonna use the cheesecake one. You need two cups of cold milk and a hand mixer. So let's do that. I need a little bowl. Uh oh, I'm gonna drip him. Oh, this will work. Yeah, so I'm making homemade bread tomorrow. I'm making the beef, I'm making the greens. Oh, <laughs> Cook or Insta pudding? No, it's the instant. I don't want to do the cook. Do the instant. And then let it um, sit in the refrigerator for a couple minutes and let it set. You'll be good to go. Two cups of milk. This my two cup. No, that's my one cup. I know I have a big one. Then I have the, the big, big one. <laughs> Two cups. Two. 
two cups. Let's put this in the refrigerator. Remind me to share with you what I bought yesterday. Because I'm actually going to use it. I'm going to cook it tomorrow. And it just so happens that everything I'm cooking tomorrow is not the type of thing that I could do like in an hour live. <laughs> the meat is going to be cooking in the slow cooker while we're at church. Look at me. I don't know. Oh, wasted everything. Um, the greens are going to be prepped tonight and blanched by the husband. He just, he just doesn't know it yet. I do. Huh. All right, so bear with me. Yesterday, I took a half a day of work, and then me and the youngest, like it's already like thick. <laughs> I'm gonna just put it in the refrigerator. I just want to make sure there's nothing left at the bottom, so that's why I have this spatula. Like technically, when you're taking like home it, they call that a spatula, and then the other thing that we call a spatula, they call that a pancake timer. But, I mean, yeah. You know. Okay, so let's move this out the way temporarily while we move on. And where's my little bag? Oh, I got to start a new bag. That's why I like these little bags, right? I create a, a gazillion little bags as I'm cooking. But you got to make it do what it do. If you are making banana pudding for tomorrow, and I inspire you to do that, please make it tonight. Okay. So your stuff is not crunchy. Okay. Because I don't want no crunchy cookies in my banana pudding. Now, let's go ahead. We're back. <laughs> oh, la, la. played it long enough to hear that she was singing to her little girl, Maya. Okay. Y'all know who Maya is. Saturday Night Live. But anyway. And who put me on to that? My youngest son. That one, that, yeah, that one right there. Loving you is easy cause you're beautiful And every day of my life I feel loving you La 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 
But I'll say Sunday, 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 Sunday. <laughs> y'all like Dorsha, be careful with that knife. I know, because if he saw me right now, ooh, don't y'all tell him. Don't y'all tell him, okay, <laughs> that I just did that. Mm. He'd be like, he don't even like to see a knife in my hand. It'd be like, whoa, good God. What it is it good for? Absolutely nothing. War, oh, good God. What is it good for? Absolutely nothing. Anyway, don't tell him any of this. Do you hear me? Or, you know, you're going to have to find another channel. You don't get me in trouble. <laughs> Throw your bananas on top of those cookies. Now, let's talk about, you see that? It's not this. I cannot stand when somebody make me some banana pudding and something like this is in it. I'm like, goodness gracious, what you think I am, a monkey? <laughs> and, well, I'm not. Okay, no, don't be doing all that. One, I wanna dance with somebody. Let's be specific. Sunday, backyard farmer. I wanna feel the heat with somebody. Yeah, I wanna dance with somebody. With somebody who loves me. Woo! Don't you wanna dance? Say you wanna dance with me, darling. <laughs> All right, y'all. Like, all right. Like, like once again, this is our little secret. Girl, I got a secret. See if you can guess. Oh, anyway, that was a song by New Edition. I don't know if y'all know who New Edition is, but yeah, I'm just saying. I'm just saying how old I am. It's okay. To God be the glory. Wouldn't change it for nothing. And I definitely would not want to be younger living in this day and time. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm so good. <laughs> Woo, baby. Baby, I promise you. So, today, I made 16, well, I'm over, 1,600 subscribers. When I went to bed last night, I wasn't at 1599 or anything. <laughs> I, I forget. It was like 159 something, but it, I was like, I woke up this morning and I was well over 1,600. To God be the glory. I was like, why? I don't even understand. But uh, yeah, I'm thankful. Now, I went to a, a butcher shop not too far from where I live because they have excellent bills on meat. As a matter of fact, to be more specific, it's a supermercado. <laughs> uh, Mexican grocery store. Oh, this. Oh, mm, sorry. Oh, it smells so sweet. Mm. How sweet it is to be loved by you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. How? Oh, my goodness. Oh, they winning. They winning the day. They winning the day. Honey, because I think the last time I got some, mm, honey. You know, you got to put a little sugar on them because, you know, you can't be serving people. Mmm, this banana is good. Let me rinse these. How sweet it is. We have our layer of our chessman cookies. We have our not deafening, like, like really, really thin, but we have thinly sliced bananas. Now, oh, we have our strawberries. Oh, help me. 
and I'm going to um, do likewise with them. You see that? Put that there. I, I did that to show you that, no, we're not going to do chunks of the strawberries. We're going to keep the same consistency going. The um, strawberries should match the um, bananas. We don't want any shock factor when someone goes in to bite this and saying, mm, what the world was that? We do want the shock factor that when they go in to eat it, they're going to be like, oh, my goodness. I thought that this was just, oh my goodness. But they're already going to know it's different because we're going to put the strawberry crunch on top of it, okay? I saw this. I can't even remember on what social media I was. It was either a Facebook reel or maybe Instagram. I can't remember. I have to start writing down. <laughs> I, I, I know it was on TikTok. And... I'm usually on Facebook mainly watching Country Wayne skits. <laughs> That's my main purpose on Facebook. Outside of that, I don't spend too much time on Facebook. IG, uh, for those who follow me on IG, don't really look on my wall, look in my stories because I do post in there. And the content comes from my memories from Google Photos. Google sends me memories every day, and I share a lot of them. Not all of them, but I do share. So, want to know what's going on? Go and take a look. We'll be going back down memory lane. Back down memory lane. I stumbled on this photograph. <laughs> So the family, we went to see the little the little mermaid last Sunday. Mm. Oh, oh, these strawberries are sweet. So anyway, we went to see, see the little mermaid, and it was so nice. I almost cried at the end. And for those of you who know that I was raised by my dad, and you saw the movie, you know why. I won't ruin it for anyone else. Yeah, I almost cried. But then that's when the adulting kicked in. And what do I mean by that? Ask me. Hey, Dorsha, what do you mean by that? What is being an adult got to do with crying? Do adults cry? Yes. But sometimes you have to make an intelligent decision <laughs> beyond your emotions. And so what was the decision I had to make? If I cry right now, because of my sinuses, I'm going to be stopped up. I'm probably going to get a headache and I'm going to be congested and feeling miserable and won't be able to breathe for about an hour or so. And I have to cook Sunday dinner. So guess what? I will hold these tears inside. But if I didn't have all that going on, then I would have let it rip. And I <laughs> mm. There you go. Peekaboo. Y'all see that? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, my sister. Thank you. <laughs> she said, you know, giving me accolades on my intelligent decision. Decision. Now, we do not need all of these. Um, pineapple, but gotta do what you gotta do. So, do not put the juice in there. Please. We don't want juicy, juicy. Oh, baby! <laughs> All right, so it's the chunks, it doesn't matter what brand. Or you could cut it up yourself. Mmm. 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 All right. I'm just going to throw some on top. Mmm. Oh. Can it rain? Coming down. <laughs> I'll be a lollipop. <laughs> Only Sunday.
Monday. Can I fill out the rest of that song? Uh, all right. You know, some people use that saying till my till my ancestors tell me to stop. I used to say that. I don't say it no more. Because after doing the ancestry thing, some of my ancestors were serving pagans, honey. <laughs> And uh, yeah, I'm good. <laughs> All right, so we have our layer of chessmen cookies. We have our thinly sliced bananas. We have our thinly sliced strawberries. We have our pineapple chunk. Now we're going to move on to the next thing, which is our nice filling. And let's check our I make Kool-Aid for my family. And -na 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 -na. I make picture after picture. And -na 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 -na. Okay. All right, I'm done. I'm just saying, I'm in my happy place, the kitchen. So I get happy. I'm so excited. And I just can't hide it. No, 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 no. I'm about to lose control and I think I like it. Oh, yeah. We shouldn't even think about tomorrow. Sweet memories will last a long, long time. We'll have a good time, baby. Don't you worry. And what did she say? And if you stop, stop, stop. Boy, that's just fine. Woo, woo. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, uh, who knows who sings that song that I just finished singing? Who sings that song? Okay, so your cream cheese should be room temperature. I already had opened up sweetened condensed milk. Why? Because I made an iced coffee using this. Hot water, a tablespoon of that, sweetened condensed um, some ice, shook it up, and whoo! I'm just saying. And the cool whip, the cool whip, the cool whip, mm -mm. the cool whip, the cool whip. Mm -mm. Okay. Now I need another bowl. What happened to that other bowl, y'all? Didn't I have a small bowl that? Oh, <laughs> I do. It's in the refrigerator. See, y'all supposed to be helping me. <laughs> The first time ever I saw your face. Two tons. Two tons of what? That's not who sang that song. Al, who sang? I'm so excited. Dun, 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 dun. I'm about to lose control and I think I like it. Oh, yeah. Let's get excited. I know, I know, I know, I know. I want you. I want you. Okay. Anyway, let me calm down. Now, look at this. Yeah, that part. However, I want to put the cream cheese in a bowl and get that to a certain consistency. And I'm not going to just add it to this. So this goes to a separate bowl. And uh, another bowl. Another bowl. But it looks like, oh, you know what? I'm over here collecting all these bowls. Now, I do have some filling that's left from that. And I can make a small pot pie. And you're probably like, what's a small one? I'm just saying. Um, yep, but 
individual one right here. Party people. The closer I get to you, the way you make me feel, i give you all I got. I just want to stop. I'm giving you all the love I got. Yes. A million dollars to Michelle, the Pointer Sisters. Oh, and he's already got one of the... <laughs> Roberta Flack. Yes, that's not the other song I was singing, but for those who know, if you don't know, now you know. I just want to stop when you are lying here next to you. I'll be back momentarily. Responsible in this kitchen. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying my best. I'm trying my best. I'm trying my best. The closer I get to you, the more you make me see. By giving you all I got, your love has captured me. Over and over again, I tried to tell myself that we could never be more than friends. And all the while inside, I knew it was real, the way you make me feel. Pebo! <laughs> what y'all know about Pebo Bryson? He is awesome, okay? And if you don't know who Peebo Bryson is, look him up. He has plenty of hits. And uh, yeah, he deserves his flowers. Beautiful, beautiful love songs. cream cheese. Well, if it wasn't a challenge, it wouldn't be worth it. Mm. You know, when you hungry, <laughs> even cream cheese can be good. <laughs> mm. mm. Y'all like, are you really sitting up there Peebo Bryson is from South Carolina. Shut the front door. Get out of here. Mmm. Mmm. Sorry. That was so good. <clears throat> Woo. Flashbacks on the time we had. Some made us laugh. And some made us laugh. We used to break up to make them. Mm. Mm. I'm sorry, y'all. Ah. Okay. Dion Warwick was my favorite singer in the 60s. Okay. Cool. All right. Bear with me. Here we go. Uh-oh. Did I unplug it? All right, Georgia. 
There's a reason why I feel this way. cheese like that mm -hmm. and you might have to just taste it just to make sure mm. 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 Whew, honey that is so good now I'm going to add the pudding that I made I watched and then I finished it because you know when I find myself falling asleep and I, I wasn't falling asleep because it was boring I was just tired because that it was just a long day um I watched Creed what was that part three or two or three or yeah whatever the latest one with the Jonathan Morgan guy so there you go I think that's that we have this we have that you can get with this or you can get with that. I think you get with this because this is where it's at. Engine, engine, number nine on Chicago transit line. If the train jump off the track, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Ah, okay. Now, we're going to pour this on top of our... This is truly me. Mm. Woo, chow. Say mama, sama, makusa. Woo. Huh. Mm. I'm so glad that these children. Well, two of them are young adults, but. They'll always be our children <laughs> are here because if it was just me and Sunday back y'all for my baby, we would not be having this. Okay. No, no, we would not 
be having this. I promise you. Mm. You just got to realize, you know, where you are. <laughs> I committed. I am committed to doing my 30, uh, my 10,000 steps a day. I'm going to recommit myself to my 30 minute workouts. But until that happens, you can't be eating dessert every day, hun. Dessert need to be a reward or a treat. Mm, yeah. Because nobody wanna be unhealthy. Unhealthy. And I'll leave that right now. Mm. But this right here, <laughs> mm, it is so good. Mm. 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 That's a little kid in me. Anyway, moving right along. So now we have that. Mm. And I'm going to put it over here. And I'm going to check on, woo, baby. Baby, baby. Oh, Lord. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Look at her chicken pie pie, Becky. <laughs> I like chicken pie pie, I will not lie. You other people can despise. <laughs> okay. Y'all probably about through, through with me right now, but I'm just saying. I know I'm all over the place. Stay with me. <laughs> Stay right beside me. Yeah, thing. I want to show you that I am God. I have all answers. Okay. I need my cookies. I need soft butter. I need my um, strawberry gelatin mix. I got a little bit of that left. I'll use that for my iced coffee. I need a blender. And I need a cookie sheet. Oh! And I love the cheese. Mmm. So many dishes. That's the only thing. Cooking, honey. The dishes. Now, I do have to say... I am the cook. I am not the one to be washing the dishes. But it doesn't preclude me from doing it. It's just, this is the deal. In a family, and I won't just say a marriage, because there are some, you know, different forms of family that exist that may just be the parent and the child. So that's why I'm going to use that term. Everybody needs to play a role. So therefore, even though one person may be gifted to do it all, you may be a person who's gifted to make the money, to bring it home, to buy, to buy everything that's needed for the home. Um, to pay all the bills, to cook, to clean, you, you you know, I believe that every person should have all of those abilities. And when you have all of those abilities, when two come together as one, then it's bountiful. However, reality has it that everyone doesn't have the same skill sets or the same upbringing. So therefore, there are just certain things that some people are better at than others. But whatever the case is, everyone has a role. Now, you're in a two income earning household, you know, where people are both making money, both having to go out there and hit the streets and grind and everything. Um, it is unfair and unethical for the weight of what goes on in the household, running the household business to fall on one person is just how can someone do that in good conscience unless they're a narcissist and selfish 
Because at the end of the day, if the other person's money is needed outside of the household, that means that, hey, then the duties in the household need to be divided. Now, I'm not going to go into who should cook, who should clean. I personally believe whoever's the best at it. And if the other person just so happens to be good at everything and the other person is not, then somebody needs to do some learning. And while they're doing some learning, the other person who's great at it can't be critical and say, well, you didn't do it the way that I like it or whatever. whatever. Because at the end of the day, you're not their parent. Oh, since you asked, be rich. See, it's challenging right now. Let's see if you can see this. I don't know how much you can see it, but it's a chicken pot pie with puff pastry. I'm just going to let it, Um, I really think, yeah, it's done, but it is so beautiful. I have to take a picture and put it on um, my community tab and be rich. I'm going to put it in my um, Instagram story, so. Stay tuned for that. Excuse me. My eye was itching. So, you know, right now, <laughs> she said, uh, Riven in the Sky. You don't have a favorite song from the 70s? Okay. Well, one day, um, yeah, we're going to have to revisit that. Brother, and I had to do dishes coming up. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you for that um five dollar um super chat be rich i think the disservice that is done to this generation is that there are so many children growing up with entitlement and they lack um domestic skills and they lack social skills they lack wherewithal, how to make things happen for themselves versus the parents sitting there doing everything for them. You know, like when you go to college or you move out of your parents' house, there are some fundamentals that you should know how to do in order to survive. I didn't say thrive, but just survive, right? And I was talking to my dad about this yesterday. And I was like, you know, it was just basic things that he taught me. He taught me how to cook. <laughs> My dad was a 23-year-old single parent, right, who was orphaned at an early age because his mom died and his parents weren't together. So he had to live in different homes and different things being done and this, that, the other. So he taught me how to cook. He taught me how to clean, but he taught me how to clean a certain way. Like, for example, if you're cleaning the kitchen, cleaning the kitchen and washing dishes are two different things. It's called KP, kitchen patrol. If you are cleaning the kitchen, that means you're washing dishes, you're cleaning off the counters, you're cleaning the stove, you're, you're, you're sweeping the floor. And in some households, like mine, that's also mopping the floor at the end of the day, right? Now, there are deep cleanings where they may happen once a month where we're taking whatever's out the refrigerator that is expired, that's this, that, the other. We're cleaning all the shelves. We're wiping everything down, doing the same for the freezer. We're also cleaning the um, stove. We're spraying it down. We're cleaning the stove. Um, also, in cleaning the kitchen on a daily basis, you're looking in your microwave. You're looking at your countertops. You're looking at your cabinets. You're wiping things down. I mean, that's just cleaning the kitchen. If you are just doing a chore instead of a responsibility, then a chore in the kitchen could be, oh, I wash the dishes. But don't say you clean the kitchen if you didn't clean off the counters, wipe the stove, this, that, the other. It's just like for a bathroom. If you just did one particular chore in the bathroom, that could have been I cleaned the, the tub. That's not cleaning the bathroom. You got to clean the vanity, the countertop, the... the, the um, the uh, sink behind the nozzles, the toilet underneath of the toilet where it like curves in at the bottom where it meets the floor, sweep it, clean the top of the toilet behind the lid of the toilet, and mop the floor, clean the shower wall, you know, the mirror, <laughs> clean the light switches. You know what I mean? It's just like, you know, and you have to teach your children this. That's the bottom line. Like your children should know 
how not only to make money, but how to build a home. Number one, it'd be great if they can do it for themselves. Because if they know the responsibility of doing it for themselves and they won't take for granted when somebody else is coming and helping them build together. But if they're entitled, then they feel like whatever you're doing, you're supposed to be doing for them. And no, because you can just be single. And, you know, as a believer in the Lord Jesus Christ, one thing that organized religion across the board, I'm not just going to say Christianity, they have dangled marriage as like this carrot. But everyone is not called to be married. And that doesn't necessarily mean everyone's supposed to be out here shacking up and screwing. I mean, you got to obey the word of God. But some people's ministry should just be that to God and serving others, where it takes um, people who are committed to bearing a cross and sacrificing of themselves to be married. And if you're selfish and you're a narcissist, then you're, you're not cut. You're not cut to be married unless you can humble yourself and let God use your marriage to help deconstruct and reconstruct so that you can become who he created you in the intentions that he had for you in your mother's womb. You know what I mean? But outside of that, then you're just a shard of glass that's getting ready to cut somebody up and jack them up for the next person. Take a pass. <laughs> so, yeah, but, you know, how many children don't know how to even wash their clothes? <laughs> like, that wasn't an option. I had to wash clothes. Not only did I have to wash them and dry them, fold them, I had to iron the clothes. <laughs> like, I couldn't just put away wrinkled clothes. I had to iron clothes. Now, of course, you know, I'm a white collar worker. Most of my clothes are in the dry cleaner. So it's very minimum what I actually have to wash. And my husband prefers to wash his own clothes. So that's not a thing with us, right? Um, but I am the one to cook and he prefers it that way. And he washes the dishes and the children are here. So now they wash the dishes, but if it was just me and him, he's going to wash the dishes. And everyone's responsible for their bathrooms. But I am the one who um, cleans the guest bathroom um, in our bathroom. <laughs> and But he makes the bed. But I'm the one who changes the linen and, and, you know, whatever. And so I have like a little system. Like there's a certain color code of linen and sheets that I have on the bed. So we have four bedrooms, okay? And all of them have matching linen and they're color coded for whatever season we're in. So we're in spring, summer. And so everyone has white comforters, right? And then it's going to change as far as the sheet colors. Either going to be gray, gold, or white, whatever. So that's what we got going on because that's a um, color thing throughout the household. But I thank my dad for that because my dad found it important to teach me how to create an atmosphere for a house. Now, he wasn't into the color of linen and all that other kind of stuff. But what he did teach me was to have a fitted sheet on the bed and then uh, another sheet, uh, pillow cases to, to, to clean my, uh, and then to have a comforter, bedspread, and to clean my linen <laughs> on a regular basis. And not like once a season like that. And then also, so we wash clothes um, like every Saturday, you know, and we had to go to the laundromat, which was that was inside of the building the apartment that we lived in. So we go all the way downstairs and we lived all the way upstairs. So had to separate the colors, the whites, the lights and the darks, right? Whites, lights, dark what to use bleach on, what not, what to use hot water, what to use cold water, this, that, the other. You know, you know how many children don't know how to do that now? Also, he, in all transparency, because remember, he was a man raising a child. Skip the part about me being female. He was raising a child by himself. And I so happened to be a female. And this was in the 70s. So peekaboo, there was no internet. There was nothing where he could just click, click, click. And he didn't have his mother to help and all this other kind of stuff. So um, when I was about 
maybe 14, he started sitting me down when he would write the checks. I remember we used to use like paper checks and there was a register and then you would put in who you made the date, who you would made it out to and the amount. And then you just subtract and that's how you come up with your balance. <laughs> so he would show me, Hey King, how are you doing? He would show me the bills. He would show me how much he paid for rent what the light bill was. And in Baltimore, it was Baltimore gas and electric. You didn't, you know, it was a monopoly. So you didn't get to choose a different gas company. Since time, they have split them and, you know, it's no longer a monopoly. Um, um, the phone bill. Back in the day, we had long distance as well. Um, cable, but there was no internet. So anyway, he would show me and then he would write out the checks. He would show me where to put everything, whatever. And then he would sign. And it was just that level of transparency. So when daddy say he doesn't have it, I saw it with my own eyes. Some people will not, they, they're not thinking. They're thinking that they're raising their children to be grown children instead of raising them to be grown adults, self-sufficient. That if I died right now, what tools do you have so that you can survive, number one, Number two, to thrive, right? He also taught me the importance of credit. A lot of people that I grew up around in the Black community um, were credit adverse. Don't get no credit. Don't get no credit. Don't get no credit. Credit is not a bad thing. Just like inherently money is not a bad thing. The Bible says the love. The love of anything outside of God and others and self can be a bad thing. And then even loving others and self a little too much could be unhealthy if it makes you sin against God, where your focus is so um, obscure <laughs> and obsessive that now you've lost purpose. So credit. And I'm thankful that he taught me that credit is a tool. It is a tool. Right. And don't be afraid of it. Oh, I ain't got no credit. I ain't got no da da da. But when it's time for you to make a major purchase, if you don't have credit, that's just as bad as having bad credit. You know, and for those of us who are in business, everybody said amen. Because you it, it is the rules of the game. It's about having a healthy balance of knowing how to use credit. Some people don't have the basis on how to use money. So therefore, you don't you wouldn't know how to use credit. It's just like the person who don't understand the principles of how to use money and they become a millionaire overnight and then they're poor in a couple of years because they didn't understand how to use money. It's just like a person that you give a gun to and they don't know how to use a gun and they kill themselves or someone else because everything is a tool, right? Everything. And anything can serve as a lesson or a blessing. Right. I was listening to one of my favorite um, ministers, Jerry Flowers, Jr. Just admire him highly. And he was teaching about Judas. He's doing a series. If you get a chance, go over to his YouTube. Um, he has clips on Instagram, but go over to YouTube because he has like different series and stuff. You will get blessed out of your socks. But he was just talking about, you know, Judas and how some people it's hard for them to love and it's hard for them to thrive in various relationships and even in their walk with Christ and the church and things like this is because they haven't recovered from their Judases. And, you know, it's real. Sometimes we are the Judas, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like in some, some segment in your life, whether you know it or not, you are the villain in somebody's story, honey. I know I am. <laughs> I've been the villain, the victim, and the victor, okay? So I can relate with all three of them. And I'm not even going to be a revisionist and say that, yeah, I did some bad things. Period. It was just, I just did it. <laughs> but, of course, I've been the recipient of it as well. And sometimes good intention people judge other people based off of their action and judge themselves based off their intentions. So 
I judge myself off of both. <laughs> like I don't have the luxury of sitting here faking the funk because I'm going to keep it 100 with myself, transparent with God because I know he sees the other thing and then humble myself before others because at the end of the day, I probably walked in your shoes before. So I'm, I'm here for it, but I'm here to also be a testament that you are not what you have done. You are overcomer. You can overcome whatever you have done. So anyway, but the whole thing with Judas is that Judas was not Jesus' enemy. The enemy is the enemy. The enemy is Satan, right? When Jesus was at the table with his disciples and they were having the first communion and they were breaking up bread and, you know, taking up the wine, the go and read the scripture. Once Judas was partaken of that, then Satan entered him. It's just like in the garden. Snakes are not our enemy. The serpent was not the enemy. Satan entered the serpent. It's never necessarily the instrument. It's not necessarily the person. The Bible tells us that we don't wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against evil and wicked in high places, wickedness, powers. And you sum it all up. And, and I mean, it's the enemy, right? So Judas had a purpose. Even with him being flawed and allowing Satan to enter him, there was a purpose. He was just an instrument. But through it all, the real enemy is still the same enemy that we all want to face. It's just that he uses people, but God uses people. And just because Satan used someone doesn't mean that all people who are like that person are your enemy. So, for example, if your man cheated on you for whatever his moral failings are, whatever his reasonings are, is moot. But it happened. That doesn't mean that all men are cheaters. This was his moral flaw. Or he could have been led into temptation. Whatever the case is. But that doesn't mean that all men are like that. But you have to not only forgive your Judas, you have to replace. Because remember, Judas, he went and killed himself. But at that break in the relationship, Judas is no longer a factor. Whoever your Judas is, they're no longer a factor. The Bible tells us to love our enemies. So if Judas is your enemy, you still got to love him. It didn't say love your friends. It said, of course, you're going to love your friends. Love your enemy, release your Judas, and then you replace. So now, therefore, you can be whole again. But you got to be able to make, make it make sense to know that all things that's good and bad, work together for the good of those who love the Lord and called according to his purpose. Now, if your purpose was just to have a dope wife or a dope husband and have lifestyle and this, that, the other, then you were probably already, you know, out of order or you got married for the wrong reasons or you had children for the wrong reasons and all. I mean, whatever the thing was, you went and got plastic surgery for the wrong reason, whatever your thing is, you living in a house you can't afford, your house poor beautiful house, ain't got no furniture, ain't got no investments, no savings, whatever. That, all that, your choice is not necessarily God's will. The two sometimes ain't got nothing to do with each other. Let his will be done. <laughs> but we do have choice. And sometimes we find ourselves right there living out our choices. And then want to blame God or blame the devil when really it was the, it was the man in the mirror. <laughs> right? but releasing the Judas. But also in all of this, we have to have some time where we have self-reflection aside from your spouse, aside from your children, aside from your family, your mother, your father, your sister, your brother, your best friends, your frat, fraternity members, sorority members, your colleagues, whatever. There has to be time for self-reflection. You and your creator so that the Holy Spirit can talk to you. No noise. Just stillness so that he can talk to you. So he can correct you. 
so he can comfort you, so he can lead you to all paths of righteousness for his name's sake. So he can say, um, you're looking a little bit too much on your social media. You need to be reading a book. You need to be listening to a podcast on developing yourself, developing discipline. You need to be finding out ways to invest your money. You need to be reading something on your parenting, on how not to take out your trauma and drama on your children and then create a cycle of trauma in your bloodline. <laughs> right now, I am, I just finished reading a book by Jackie Hill Perry called Gay Girl, Good God. Um, she shares her testimony. It was phenomenal. Um, check that out if you get a chance. I'm also reading Black uh, Barack Obama versus the Black Israelites. I'm reading that. Um, I also started a podcast. It's about, you know, women and wives and just, you know, how we work on ourselves, not trying to change your husband, but working on yourself that you can be the wife where change happens in your marriage because of your submission to God and you growing as, you know, a wife and a woman and controlling your emotions, whatever. So it's like, you know, a constant of you feeding your spirit and also being very aware of who you talk to and what they say out of their mouth. Because if you're on a trajectory for growth, what can hinder it is the people that you hang around. If they're always just gossiping, talking about nonsense and nobody growing, then it's like, what? what? Like, I'm in college and you're in kindergarten. I'm trying to grow. So now it's like, unless they want mentorship, how can they feed into you when their thought patterns are here, right? But when you have people who are your same age cohort, sometimes everyone thinks that everything is equal and all things are not equal. We all don't grow at the same rate. <laughs> we do not. And you can very well mentor people your own age or even people older than you. I remember one lady, um, she told me that she prayed to God for a mentor and she's older than me. And she says, and God answered her prayers because God sent me to her. And she says she never in a hundred years would have thought that her mentor would be younger than her. But she had a prayer. She prayed it to God. God answered it. And it's not that I think I'm just so great, but whatever it was, God saw a connection and then he allowed our paths to cross. You need to think about that because everybody, to some certain extent, you have been through something and there is a portion of God's wisdom, enlightenment inside of you. Who are you mentoring? I mean, like literally. Like you are mentoring someone. And then who's your mentor? Who's feeding into you? And if you don't have a one person as your mentor, then what books are you reading? What podcasts are you listening to? And I'm not just talking about, oh, you just go to church on Sunday. That's not enough. <laughs> it's like for people who are like professionals and you got to get continuing learning, education. Uh, you have to go back and get your license on this. It's like a continuous learning, right? It's like with marriage. You need tools. Marriage can be very hard. But if you get the tools that are out there, then you equip yourself so that you can succeed and not just be married and not thriving in your marriage, being a godly example of what marriage is. And marriage is more than playing house with someone, paying bills and having kids and dying one day. <laughs> Larry Flowers. No, his name is Jerry. Jerry Flowers. Let me see. I'm gonna pull him up. Jerry Flowers. His mom is um, awesome as well. Jerry Flowers Jr. Yes, he is good. Okay, so let's get to this other part. So I can um, let y'all go and um, I can also, but before we get into this, 
let me um i gotta turn the oven on oh you know what that's what it was i forgot to get the golden you have to get golden oreo cookies hmm. golden oreo cookies y'all man golden oreo cookies melted butter and this that's how you make your strawberry man i'm gonna have to run to the store and get that i wonder could i just do it you know what i'm not gonna do it i'm not gonna do it i'm just gonna put these on top and put it in the refrigerator because i am tired y'all so let me just go ahead and finish this up i'll do it another time i was wondering and i had a list you know what I'm saying? I had a list. And then I forgot to put that on there. But you need golden Oreo cookies, the strawberry gelatin, and melted butter. And that's how you do your strawberry crunch thing. But we do have some deliciousness inside of here. We have bananas. We have pineapple. And we have our filling, how we do our um, banana pudding. And I'm going to um, show y'all that uh, pot pie soon. And I'm going to put this in the refrigerator because this needs to sit. I love these chestnut cookies. Yes. Two, three, four, five. Man, that is exactly what I needed. Golden Oreo cookies. Y'all remember that. Make sure I have enough cookies for my top. Man, if I don't have enough cookies for my top, and that's probably why I don't, because I was going to do that. Oh. Lord, help me. Help me. Look at this. Am I going to have enough? Say mama, say mama, goosa. I'm going to say mama, say Help me say. Y'all, I am three cookies short. I am three cookies short. And y'all know I ate one of the cookies. It's all good. They gonna be all right. They are gonna be all right. You hear me? I'm not playing around. You also told us to remind you to tell you something. You said to ask you about something. Oh, you're right. But anyway, I don't know if y'all can see this. But don't look at the side where I'm missing the three cookies. Look over there. There you go. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Now... I'm going to put some um, foil over it. I'm going to put it in the refrigerator and it's going to sit overnight. That's that. Now. Woo-wee, baby. I got something to share with y'all. <laughs> now, I can't remember exactly. Um, but. I got some yams because I'm making collard greens and the Mississippi roast, but with the chunks of brown chuck. But I'm making different kinds of yam, and I'm making homemade rolls tomorrow. So the collard greens with the turkey, but the beef, but the beef chunks with the, like the Mississippi style roast and candy yams. But Okay. Who knows what this is? Who knows what this is? Who knows? Now, I want you to take a look. I have this. I have this. And I have this. All three of them are sweet potatoes. But now let me show you something. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I just can't hide it. I'm about to lose control and I think I like it. Are y'all ready? Are y'all ready for this? 
Now you see the skin on this sweet potato is the daggone Carrie Renee. That girl is good. be having candy ams tomorrow that look like this oh baby look at this just beautiful beautiful Hold on one second. I am so excited. Now, so that's one of them. And I have those. But yeah, purple. I just got the thing. I forgot my um, computer wasn't plugged up. So... But I also have another type. This is a yam as well. It's not your regular yam. I'm trying to remember. This was the, this may have been the Korean. That's the purple yam. I think this was the Korean. Right, Kay? That purple yam. And now look at this. This is a yam. Look. You see that? So, I have two of those, and now, dun, 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 dun. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. So I went to a, a Asian market that I had never been to before because um, my son and I went to have lunch, oh, excuse me, yesterday at a Vietnamese restaurant. And while we were in the area, he wanted me to see this Asian um, supermarket that's like a Asian Walmart and um, while we were in there <laughs> I started buying so hey Barb how are you doing all three of these are yams all three of these are yams and that's what's going into my candy yams tomorrow. Peekaboo. Yes. Yes. 
So the yams will be like this. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? I'm so excited. I mean, hey, wait a minute. Yeah, they smell all the same for the most part. Anyway, so I will probably take pictures to share that with you. Like I said, everything I'm cooking tomorrow is going to take some time because I'm doing crock pot. I'm doing Instapot. I'm making yeast rolls. Yeah, I got a lot going on tomorrow, y'all. But uh, let me bring this pot pie over here. And that's it. You can use puff pastry to do your chicken pot pie, or you can use a pie crust. So tonight, the family will have this puff pastry pot mm -hmm. pie, and it should be delicious. Nice and flaky. And then tomorrow, they'll have that beef, you know, collard greens, these yams, and the homemade yeast rolls. Thank you. Let your spirit guide you in your recipe. I do not measure either when cooking. <laughs> ah, yes. So anyway, that's all I got. I'll start um uh fixing the um well cleaning up some of what I did. And um yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right there. Uh-huh. Yeah. There you go. Right there. See? Yeah, I'm, I'm waiting for him to come and say hello. And he's probably listening to something because he has his earbud in. You see him? Uh-huh. Listen to you. Oh, he said he's listening to me. K said, Hey. What's going on, K? I'm hungry. So, you see, he has chosen pizza over. I don't know what you. Over this wonderful pot pie. And as long as she live, the longest I'm going to have to wait to eat that pot pie. No, because so. you, you can taste it right now in front of everyone to tell them whether or not. Oh, and he can use my food thingy. Foodtastic. Thanks to Broke Farmer. Foodable. Thanks to Rachel. Or Food Drastic. Thanks to my Renaissance grandma. <laughs> You want to taste it in front of everyone and give them your opinion? Sure. Okay. So. Y'all, it is getting ready to go down right here in the kitchen. With Sunday by your grandma. Too bad <laughs> my phone is not working. So that I could bring y'all down so y'all could see this. I'm cutting this. But uh What's wrong with your I phone? may have to go to Verizon tomorrow. What's wrong with your phone? The SIM card. Something happened when I dropped it and it's not reading the SIM card. So can't receive, can't receive calls, can't make calls. And when I first started Oh boy, I ain't about to eat that. That's hot. That's extremely hot. I ain't gonna eat this.
So you rate it. Mm -mm. What do you mean, no? You just ate some. You got to rate it. You ate it in front of Who delicious? <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Who's that? Uh, uh, still off a of Fergie song? Right? No? Fergalicious. Oh, okay. Um, oh, wait a minute. Oh, it's not that hot. Is it food drastic? Is it foodable? Or is it foodtastic? They probably don't believe me because I'm not as animated as you. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah. So, no, I could, like, ah. well, you have it from the man, the husband, the Sunday backyard farmer. What's different about it, though? That's what I'm trying to figure out. What's different about it is that it was made with a puff pastry versus a uh, pie crust. Oh, oh, this right here, all of this, and even at the bottom is different. It's usually with a pie crust and not with puff pastry. So, all that crunchiness. Yeah, you wouldn't have that at first. That's why it's that's why it's that's why it's like pulling apart, trying to pull apart like that. I'm not trying to pull it. <gasps> All right, y'all. You said um, my hubby had the same issue and they replaced his cell. Okay, well, we'll see because this is just horrible. It is horrible. I have another phone for her, but she just won't switch. She will only switch out. She can be with the rest of the family, literally. The rest of the family. Why can't people just let you be happy where you are? <laughs> well, you're just the way you are. I said nothing about what's love got to do, got to do I with it. The song. What is love? Baby, don't it's hurt me. Song. I love you just the way you are. The closer I get to you, the more you make me feel I give you all I got your love has captured me over and over again I tried to tell my wife that we should never have androids in the house But all the while I know he's the reason why it don't work. She got a virus <laughs> in it her. I'm leaving you here with me. No. <laughs> anyway, y'all, I'll tell y'all how this turns out with the purple yams, Korean yams. One's Japanese, one's Korean, I guess. And then, you know, of course, I know how to write on this turn out. Although this one has like little black things in it. Let me see. This is very interesting. I've just never seen it like this before. Have you? Oh, I've never seen yams like this. Look at that. Before. Is that okay? Oh, no, you better find out. <laughs> Let's peel this one. Let's see if it's the norm. 
or if there's something wrong with that one. Cause child, I ain't never seen no. Where are you going from? From H Mart, the place I told you that's like the one on Austell. Mm -hmm. But man, they has. Man, they had the purple potatoes, the purple yam, the purple cat. I mean, they had purple everything. No, I've never seen that before. Probably okay if it's a Korean sweet potato. Barb says hello. What up, Barb? But if this one cuts and it doesn't have it, then there was something wrong with that one because yo, yo. Okay, cut. Oh, How long those been cut? I just cut and I told them go. Oh, okay. So, so you see the difference? Yeah, there's something going on with this one. So I'm gonna rock with this one. But I see it's not like a regular sweet potato. They don't have this type of look on the inside. But so this was the same kind as that, or was this supposed to be a different one? No, it's the same kind. Oh, so I something is the worms. Yeah, right there. Oh yeah, all that. He's feeding his worms. No, they're not in his stomach. <laughs> that sounds kind of weird. Yeah, he's feeding his worms. <laughs> I mean, these are just some beautiful potatoes, y'all. Look at them yams. Look at them yams. Mm, honey, I probably shouldn't have cut that the white one after I cut the purple, but the teas with the teas, yams, yams to make you dance. Okay, Thank you, babe. all right, that's all I got. So long, farewell. To you, my friend. I don't even know that song. It's some song my husband sings, and you've been using it a lot. Yeah, I do, only because you know you made it contagious in my head. Everything you touch is a song. You touch my life one day. Hey, hey, hey. And all my burdens rolled away. They rolled away. Yeah. Hey, Jigs. How you doing, Jigs? How you doing? In the live. In the live. <laughs> Did you hear Sunday? In the live. How we get rid of? Oh, he tried to end the live because Jigs done came up in the house. What up, Jigs? Jigs, you know. We write him. We write him. Y'all don't need it. Oh, wow. Jigs, what have you done to him? <laughs> the aggression. <laughs> what, what happened? Y'all was BFFs one minute. Now you on the list. What you do, Jigs? What you do? <laughs> hey, man, they say never trust a man who sell honey. Oh, to your honey. Ooh, I don't have any of his honey. He's been trying to sell you honey ever since he laid eyes on you. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> had to pop up in the lot. <laughs> uh, Jess, you know you, my man. <laughs> He you knows a problem. I pick up the phone. Ain't no problem. Well, evidently, because when he was on my live the last time I went live, and he had said something, and he said he picked up his phone. He was like, "I don't want no problem because Sunday will call." I sent him a, <laughs> yeah, I sent, I sent him a video. <laughs> <laughs> Jay is my guy, though, man. I'm just talking. Jay is my guy. You trying to get me shot? <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. How did I get blamed, Jigs? I was just asking you. 
why all of a sudden he was like, okay, in the live because you came in. I just wanted some clarity. You know what I mean? Like, I'm your friend. You know, I don't call you honey slanker. Meaning to say Sunday. Hmm? Hmm? He must have he must have said Monday at, at the top or something. He must have said he must have been a typo. So anyway, I mean, I don't know. for those who aren't familiar with J3 GS Farm, he lives here in Georgia. <laughs> Honey have enemies. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm just gonna leave all of this alone because this is above my pay grade, and YouTube ain't like he is dishing out a whole lot of money. If I had to live off of the money that these little checks I get from YouTube, mm. we, we'd be doing a different type of business. <laughs> oh, that would have like some little bags, but <laughs> Jay's like, that's what I'm talking about. That's why I'm selling honey. <laughs> I got to make room in the refrigerator for this daggone dessert. Hot in here. I don't know where this daggone dessert is going to go. What dessert? Right there in that banana pudding. All that empty space in that bottom drawer? Oh, I can't put the banana pudding in a drawer. You can put other stuff in the bottom drawer so you can sit the banana pudding on the, on the long shelf. Okay, well, why don't you do that for me? I love you. I love you, Sunday. Go I EJ. Love you. That's my EJ. I do. What's up, EJ? More than you ever know. It's for sure. <laughs> you can always count on my love forevermore. I need you. I need you, Sunday. I need you so bad. I've got this burning desire. She just want me to do this refrigerator crap. That's the only reason she doing all this. You can always count on my love forever more. Won't you? <laughs> I love and need and want you, babe. Love and need and want you, baby. I love and need and want you, babe. Love and need and want you, baby. I Love and need and want I want to dance with somebody. Mm, mm. I want to feel the heat with somebody. Woo! I want to dance with somebody. With Sunday Backyard. Woo! Don't you want to? Don't you want to? Someone who understands. Ooh. This is just an act, guys. That's why I, I need a man who take a stand or oh, love that burns hot enough to last. And when the night falls, my lonely heart calls. Oh, don't you want to dance? Say you want to dance. Whip me, darling. You know, it's not real singing until you get you a microphone. You know what I'm saying? You got to get you a microphone with somebody who loves me. She, she forgot she was alive. She was being a normal her. She forgot she was alive. That's what it was. So you got to be starting something. You got to be starting something. Too high to get over. Too low to get under. You're stuck in the middle. The pain is thunder. To how to get over <laughs> your vegetable. That is horrible. You ain't a vegetable. <laughs> you got to think about what they were saying in some of these songs. <laughs> oh, Lord. Leave her alone. I got 38 years and I know how it goes. <laughs> Thank you, Jax. Give me a pound, my brother. Mm, you know what I'm saying? He said, leave me alone. Don't call it a comeback. <clears throat> you know what, Jags? You need you need to call him up and just get him all the way straight. You hey, Jags, I'm about to go live, man. We about to talk about it. 
you, you need to get him right. <laughs> this man, he got issues. <laughs> issues. What, what, what was bad about that? He in the other room. Meaning what? He in the other room. He ain't in the room with his like, wife. Like she don't kick him out. Laptop, he probably, no, if he on the laptop, he probably is in the other room. If he on the computer on live. Or that right. Insure him. <laughs> Look at him drinking them little nasty drinks. Hmm. Yeah, so on that note, I'm glad that the Popeye turned out okay. I'm even more grateful that the husband is home. Yeah, yeah, I got to apologize to him for something. But um, we will going to talk about it on live. I look forward to showing, sharing with y'all the pictures of tomorrow's dinner and dessert, which now you know I will not be going live, but that's why I went ahead and shared, you know, what I shared with you tonight. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And... I also share my good news that I now have over 1,600 subscribers. Yay! <laughs> yeah, so anyway, thank y'all for y'all continued support. I appreciate y'all. I'm, I mean, I'm just doing the best that I can. Just doing the best that I can. See, <laughs> put some honey on your lips. He won't. See, that's what he said last time. Huh? But nah, he said he would lie. He like, yeah, just put a little honey on them lips. You want to keep your woman. That's not for them. Come here. That's supposed to be for me. Come here. What kind of is this organic honey, y'all? <laughs> Come here. I don't know, guys. I guess we're about to take a step <laughs> on the wild side. Come here. Mm. Mm. Come here. All right, what's PG's? Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Jake. <laughs> Thank you for that. After 38 years of marriage, you know what I'm saying? You said wrong kind of honey. That's just sugar. Well, look, you got to meet the person where they are, Jags. Okay. <laughs> oh, hey, prepared Irishman. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Yay. I'm at 1,600. She was only 16. Only 16. Mm, something about that song don't sound. Oh, right. yeah, that sound cooked. My bad. That, that, was, that was back in the day. Mm. I just heard 16. Mm. Mm. Okay, Sam. She was only 50. Only 50 <laughs> with eyes that would glow. But she was too young to fall in love. And I was too young to know. Hey. Oh, you sounded kind of good, baby. Kind of. You know, he really can sing. No, I can't. No, a lot of these people. Diversity. Oh, that's on your list? Oh, look at that. Hey. Hey. That sounds very wrong. <laughs> oh, yeah, 16. She was only 16. I had yeah. to change it. <laughs> if Sam Cooke was alive right now singing that song, he would be canceled. <laughs> Let us be clear. <laughs> Elvis, too. <laughs> What did he sing about? Well, we ain't gonna talk about that on the other Okay. Yeah. I guess that honey did do something to him. <laughs> <laughs> it was corn, sir. It was corn, sir. Uh, Al said, we have a duo here. Sign them up. <laughs> oh, darling, you send me. Darling, you. Okay, well. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> you know, we just messing around with you. I wish he would come we down. We doing the mess around. Sorry. Is that a song? Yes, it is. <laughs> Who sang that? Yes. Chat. <laughs> so what? This is a single. <laughs> Why are we over here messing around? Jax could probably sing. 
<laughs> Jax, can you sing? Yeah, just bring the honey over. <laughs> the quiet storm. <laughs> Turn off the lights. Don't get jazzed, daughter. His honey cells are going And light a candle. <laughs> Come on and go with me. Come on over to my place. Come on over to Jack's place. <laughs> You got him cracking up. <laughs> yeah, back in the day. But um, he has very diverse taste in music. So the song that was played at our wedding when the um, attendance, the, the wedding party was coming down the aisle, was actually a song by Frank Sinatra. Because he likes Frank Sinatra. Can y'all guess what song? was played. Please guess because I don't remember. I would like to request some Mr. Stevie Wonder please. <laughs> she's lovely and she's wonderful but I, I, I can't I can't do Stevie Isn't right she now. lovely Isn't she wonderful Made of love Duh -duh -duh. I second that request. <laughs> now both of y'all trying to get me shot. <laughs> what? What? What the? What is he talking about? Well, yo, 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 yo. <laughs> His wife must keep that peace shooter light, right? <laughs> that little derringer, that little two shot. <laughs> keep on, Jags. <laughs> Sitting right there. <laughs> Boy, Lord. Okay. Let's see. Let's sing a Stevie Wonder song. Are you about to say it up? No, you're going to sing. <laughs> he said, it. yep. you going to sing it. I ain't them. about to sing. Yes, you are, because you be singing on them daggone. That's when, I'm, that's when I'm alone. When I'm alone in my room, sometimes I stare at the wall, and in the back of my mind, I hear my conscious call telling me I need this sweet as a dove. In the first time in my life, I say I need love. There I was. Okay. We're going to find a song for him to sing. Isn't she lovely? That's what friends are for. I just call. I just call to say I love you. I didn't know it said call. I thought it said I just want. I just call to say it how said, much I, I care. I do. I just call to you say. say yes. What? Hey, my, my childhood's been a lie. I thought he said, I just want to say I love you. I just want to say I love yeah. you. Yeah. I just That's call. That's what I heard as a kid. I mean, when I was when that came out, when, when did that come out? I love 1984. I was two years old. What you thought I heard? <laughs> oh, so long. For this night, I pray that a star will guide you my way to share with me this special day. Wear a ribbon in the sky for our love. <laughs> There's a. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness! Put a ribbon in the sky for our love. This is not a coincidence. See, that's what y'all. I can't sing. I don't know why you want me to sing. If you notice, if y'all look at any of my shorts, listen to how loud the music be versus me. There's a ribbon in the <laughs> sky. Be rich. What's going on, buddy? Ribbon in the sky, a ribbon in the sky for love, love. Sunday song was Fly Me to the Moon. Hey, what is that? That's Frank Sinatra. Oh, no. So it was, uh, you look good tonight, the way you look tonight. When I get my new computer, finish my promises, and set up a mic, we on for karaoke with Dorsha. <laughs> 
<laughs> nice. They don't put it in the budget. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Wait two years old. Man, now you're making me feel old. <laughs> Who said that? Uh, I prepared Irishman. Oh. So he was two, but I was not. Okay. <laughs> she was only 16. I was 12. Okay. So I knew the words to that song. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's the other song. As a dun, 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 you know, I never knew the, uh, the, the, the lyrics. <laughs> oh, so you don't know the lyrics to that one. Yeah, but I know, well, only so much of it. But we're going to make it do what it's Oh, shawty, we can say it with that. Um, I followed. That person don't have a channel, do she? As around the sun, the oh, earth oh. knows she's revolving. And the rosebuds know the bloom in early, uh, in early May. Just as hey knows, loves the kid. You can rest your mind assured that I'll be loving you always. Into the dun 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 don't you know that true love has <laughs> oh did you know that true love asks for nothing that's a lot no first the way we pay yeah well god asks for something and love always asks for something because without sacrifice there is no love <laughs> wait do you know mm -hmm. rhythm of the night to the beat of the rhythm of the night Dancing to the morning light, to the rhythm, the rhythm of your mind. You can leave them all behind, to the rhythm, the rhythm of the night, the rhythm of the night. Woo! <laughs> to the beat of the rhythm of the night. Who's Johnny? She said, and smiled in her special way. Who's Johnny? She said, you know I love you. Who's Johnny? Okay. That's what I want to know. Who's Johnny? Do y'all remember what movie Who's Johnny's from? Yes, feature in what movie? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Y'all remember that? <laughs> uh, uh, for your time. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, but you know I, I I do movies and short circuit. Oh, Johnny Five, I'm alive. Yeah, that's my that's my joint. Johnny Five, I'm alive. They say me look, I'll kick you. Me look, I'll kick your face. Oh, the last Miloka, dragon. Your... Wait a minute. The Out last... of space. That was Johnny Five. Yeah, I was talking about who's Johnny. Uh, prepare Irish man. You talking about the last dragon? What song was Who in the last? About the last dragon? What song was in the last dragon? I'm not talking about the last dragon. No, I was talking about who's Johnny. Oh, is he talking about the rhythm of the night? To the beat of the rhythm of the night. And you know who else was hot during that time period? Lionel Richie. I got all his. Well, what I got? When, when he went solo, because he did like a lot of um. You know, he had them little videos and everything. He had a little Jerry curl dancing on the ceiling and all that stuff. Dancing on the ceiling. I got all that stuff on my phone. Oh, I need to set up Elf so I can accompany you. <laughs> <laughs> what, is, what is that? Oh, Lord Jesus. Rhythm of the night. Oh, hello. Hello. Is it me you're looking for? Because I wonder where you are. And, and I, I wonder where's your honey. Are you somewhere feeling lonely? Or is someone loving you? Tell me how to win your heart. It's free. Cause I haven't got a clue. Or clearance. Well, let me start by saying, I love you. Where's your receipt? Da 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 da. <laughs> Okay, I sing Rhythm of the Night for you. Here I go. <laughs> She's joining in now. Diversity, what kind of, um, I'm not putting you on the spot, and it's not my channel. 
What um? I want to see some content from you. What do you like to do? What do you like to um? Because I knew I followed you, but I was like, oh, she don't, you know. Yeah, no pressure. I'll put you on the spot. I'm just trying. I'm kind of interested in what you like to do. What would if you if you did do content? What would you show? How about that? Hey, Shuddy, what's going on? Oh, my mama, I'm feeling high. My money's gone. Mm -mm. I'm all alone. Mm -mm. Like one, two, three. The world keeps changing. Oh, what a day. What a day. What a day. Peace and passion. Every lesson I was waiting on diversity. I hope I didn't spook you off. <laughs> you won't be well. Yeah, she's been singing all this time. She's been singing for about, um, she's been singing like Tony Braxton, seven whole days. Seven whole days without, a, oh, it was a seven whole nights. Is it seven whole days or seven whole nights? It's both. Is it? Yes. Well, did you sing it? I'm not singing. Y'all, it's a day or night. I can't remember. Thank you. She 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 don't want to believe me. She don't want to believe me. I just wanted him to sing. It take you guys. You guys are the people. I believe in you and me. I believe that we will be in love eternally Sunday. For as far as I can see, you will always be the one. Oh, she says short. For me. She says short. So, mm -hmm. Don't put that in my face. Mm -hmm. I believe in dreams again. Oh, number five, a life short circuit. About Diversity, did you hear my question earlier? My dream true. Yes, she was in love. She might be behind. Okay, well, I asked, I follow you, and I know you don't do any content, and I'm not putting you on the spot. I was asking if you were to do content, what kind of content do you think you would do, or what would you be in? What would you be interested in? Oh, well, she's probably behind for real. Just to be with you forever. I believe in Mmm, mm, we pineapple up, but anyway. Yeah, she's behind. There's no way in the world because she's answering all the stuff from back in the day, yay. Shawnee. Back in the day when I was young, but not a kid anymore. But someday I really wish I was a kid again. Back in the day. See, he be sounding good. He sound good to me. That's all that matters. He could sing to me all night. All night long. All night. All night. Oh, night long. Oh, night. Oh, night. You ever see a, a toddler when they're sleepy? You was hearing make me take that hat off your head. You know, stop messing around with me. Oh, they be fighting their sleep and stuff. I'm wishing on the star. I know where you are. Wishing on a dream. I know what I mean. <laughs> I wish upon a moon. You gotta imagine being a kid watching Johnny Five and not realizing that he's leaking hydraulic fluid and thinking he's bleeding for real and he's a robot. <laughs> he did that line just for you. What line? Are y'all talking to us in real time or y'all behind <laughs> in the chat? Because I'm lost right now. Hmm. 
the last what was the last line you just saw? Oh, you didn't just sing anything. I think she's behind it in the chat too. Mm. Well, you usually not live today, so. What are you looking at? What song do y'all know by Rick James? When I kissed your lips, it was pain before pleasure, baby. <laughs> Rick James! Fire and desire. He sang for you. Takes time to type. <laughs> <laughs> Get him! <laughs> Every time he... <laughs> Tender was the kiss when I held your hand within a sweet embrace. My lips oh, began to burn as my heart beat faster than a normal pace. Oh, I'm trying not to hear the familiar sound that makes me melt my face. What's the use of your love in the knees when I get up? Turning back. My wife not coming on here, but if she did, we will have a song battle. Yay! She's saying that Elf is a program to jam music on, mm. to really play and sing together virtually. So that's what she's going to want to do when she brings her content. Can you woo woo woo? Can you woo woo woo? Can you woo woo woo? Can be mine. Oh my, and you woo 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 woo. <laughs> I was going to get it to play piano and join a virtual choir. Are you serious right now? That's a thing. Hmm. I guess this is a virtual choir right now. And I guess you didn't know that, Ebony eyes. I love you. That you didn't know that girl, you didn't know that. Oh yeah, she's me. Oh. I feel like if I if I repeat it now, it's probably okay. I went back. He sang back in the day when I was young. Oh, she done caught up. Back in the day when you when you did yeah, that. she been caught up. Uh, diversity love is the one who's behind. What question? When I was oh now she oh she's saying music and plants. Indoor plants, that's her thing. Yeah, so that's the kind of content that she would be doing. Yep. And what did I say, dancing? From beginning to end, 365 days in a year. I want your same old loving, baby. Mm hmm All I want to do is to share my life with you. I want your same old love. Because it's truly sleepy. All this love we're making. When this love is, you will be shaking. She's sleepy, y'all. All I want to do is to share my life with you. I would also discuss redesigning cities to save the environment. Ooh, child. I would love to see your content. <laughs> I think it'd be pretty interesting. I think you could have your different <clears throat> categories and stuff like that. That would be awesome. Flashback to the time we had. Some made us laugh. And some made us we used to break up to make up. Yeah, we used to break up to make up. No. <laughs> That's all <laughs> we do. All the fun that comes from the First she games. loved me. Then she hate me. Uh uh. That's okay. I never hated you. Just wow. like me. That's okay. <laughs> True facts. <laughs> <laughs> Disappointed. Uh, but I always love you. You can't pull no Whitney out on me because now. Because you'll always be my baby. Uh, they didn't even get along. 
Just vibe up and she, 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 she might clean the kitchen. Clean the kitchen right now. <laughs> no, because tonight is going to be a special night. Because tonight I celebrate my love for you. Tonight. Man. I you. My love. <laughs> See, her love, that would have hit her right in her foot. That's the type of love she got. Tonight, I celebrate my love. That don't even look right. Don't do that. <laughs> you know who will look at this later? This whole world will she find another look. Huh? You're brand new. Yeah. Tonight. <laughs> We will both discover how friends turn into lovers. <laughs> Peekaboo. <laughs> she said a close one. <laughs> and y'all just would have heard. Ow, ow, ow. Someday she might be sleepy. I feel you, bro. Man, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. She wait. grabbing air jets. This is where it starts. <laughs> what do you mean you feel him? Why is that a problem? Wait a minute. You team oh, Dorsha. Oh, Jets. You team now, Dorsha when you let, on let, my plan. Yeah, you over here. You gotta act like mm -hmm. yeah, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. <laughs> But when I go live, because he was just talking about you, okay? When I go and live, I was yeah. defending you. That's that's my boy. Jed's my boy. He know he's my boy. But the last time I was live, he was talking about you too. I know it. Jed's know it. The American people know it. It's just, it's just these it ain't no loyalty for these in these streets. I feel sorry. Okay, okay. See, that's wrong man behavior. You you all right? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, he just texted me. He said, nah, he don't feel sorry. He, no. Oh, <laughs> no. yay, girl. Yay, girl. What? She said, come through with them lashes. She's about to fly away early. <laughs> Look, I don't have camel lashes, honey. These are sophisticated lashes from Amazon. Okay. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> ah, peekaboo. G, thank you. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? Somebody's paying attention to my lashes. <laughs> One less bell to answer. Can you go back that far? One less bell to answer. What song is that? Who sang that? I don't know. You know everything. Oh, we got that on camera, guys. <laughs> That's the first time for every day. I was Feeling sorry for Sunday, too many knives. <laughs> He's supposed to feel sorry for me because they normally end up in me, not him. And I don't be around when it happens. It's just like, oops. I remember one time when I cut myself and the blood went shooting into the There's sky. a ribbon in the sky <laughs> of her blood. <laughs> I was cut. I was cutting cabbage and all it of a just sudden, it like cut and it was like, you know, that shooting vein. It just, <laughs> it wasn't funny at the time, but I'm just saying. <laughs> I was trying to take her to the hospital and she was like, no. They could be trying to put it's me. Like it's, it's Samir's birthday. I can't. I, can't, I gotta cut the cabbage. I gotta keep going. <laughs> they be look at me like I'm trying to commit suicide with some crap now. I'm good. I'm in there putting up decorations and I hear screaming and I run in there see all the blood. I'm like, all right, time to go. We gotta go. We gotta go. Fifth Dimension is that the movie with um? Oh wait a minute. No, Fifth Dimension is that? That's a group. Oh. Yeah, what, what I'm thinking about that that movie. Fifth Element. Uh, yeah, the Fifth Element with Bruce. Uh, what's his name with the bald head? Uh, is he dead? The guy that used to be married to Demi Moore. I hope not. He got a. He had mental. He was losing his memory and everything. It but was, I thought something tragic. Oh, so he didn't die. Not that I. Okay. Who cleaning the ceiling? Oh, the fifth. Actually, I don't like her on ladders either. The fifth dimension sings one less bell. Oh, okay. Thank you, EJ. We appreciate you, sweetheart. 
Bruce. Be rich. Be Willis. Be rich in it. Be rich. Be rich in it. Be rich. Be rich. In it. Hey, hey, hey. She, hey. she knew. She be dancing sometime, and if y'all watch the way she hold her mouth, I be getting scared. I think she be about to stroke out. <laughs> ah, you know what? Who who needs enemies? <laughs> I don't need a Judas. I got one right here. <laughs> you see that? See that right there? Yeah, yeah. Uh huh. I I never have to go searching for insults. <laughs> oh. Ever. That's how you feel. I'm sorry. Ever. <laughs> Extended Swiffer. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know about that back then, but we were dating, so he wasn't. We weren't living together, and uh, yeah, but it happened in my old apartment. I said the ceilings was almost this about this high, wasn't it? I don't think so. Almost. They were high ceilings for apartments. Yeah, they were. They probably were. I think well, they what, were what, this what, high. Are these 12? These are 12 foot, right? No. Or are these nine? These, nah, they not 12 foot because when I was trying to buy a Christmas tree, oh. I had to buy a nine foot Christmas tree and I was hurt. <laughs> like I'm all through the flame, burned by the fire. That's the way trees go. Dun, 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 dun. That's the way love goes. That's the way it goes. He got jokes. Y'all are so cute. Thank you, Michelle. But he's really the cute part. I'm really just being 100. I'm not cute. <laughs> Ooh, no broken wrists over here, sir. Not as long as I got your last name. Mm. <laughs> just call my name. And I. Come running. You remember that song? No. The closer I get to you, the more you make me think. Hey, man. I was trying to watch a movie. I'm surprised y'all are not outside tonight. Weather is perfect. Fifth dimension. Ow. We already um figured that out. See how she yelling at you? Ow. <laughs> See how she yelling at you? Ow. Damn it. Al is my supporter, okay? <laughs> Not after this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Al, it's it's so um, don't don't let my husband I'll, scare you. I was, I was trying to <laughs> nah, you better be scared, bro. Be Congrats. scared, bro. Have a nah. blessing. Barb! No! Come back to the light. Barb! You cannot leave. Don't walk away, Barb. Don't walk away. Our love won't. Hurt you? Bye, Barb. No, don't walk away, Barb. We'll be right here for you. There she go. Watch that mouth. Watch that mouth. <laughs> Watch that mouth. <laughs> the pretty lashes. Thank you, sweetheart. Peekaboo. Yes, I think ads put me behind a bit. Oh, y'all helping me get that money. <laughs> the three cents. <laughs> yes. Watch the ads. Watch the ads. Ads. A-D-S. Just in case if I want to play this back and say, oh, she was cussing. <laughs> Knives and broken wrist. <laughs> Who had a broken wrist, Jake? When I did that. You, you oh. <laughs> Them ads had her behind. <laughs> <laughs> One less bell to answer, one less egg to fry, one less man to pick up after. What? <laughs> <laughs> okay. What? what are you <laughs> mm -mm. She beat me up, y'all. Oh, no. Come back to the light so they can know that I'm not. <laughs> Where's the knife? I don't put my hands on him in public. <laughs> Only if I'm saying. Oh, but let me show you what his project's going to be tonight. <laughs> nah. I just said I'm trying to watch. No, I'm not. Nope. Uh -uh. Bye. 
Uh-uh. All right, y'all. Bye. No, no, and no. <laughs> yeah, he can say what he wants, but he's going to help around this house. <laughs> I went and I bought them. I got to cook them. So guess who's going to be on collard green duty tonight, baby? He's going to wash them. He's going to cut them. And he's going to blanch them. Pika daggone bit. But look at these are some healthy greens. This was like $220 or $249. And I got two of them. <laughs> yes, that part, G. Blanching time. <laughs> this and this is no alcohol. We don't need no alcohol. Okay. No alcohol needed. Show us this new skill she taught you. <laughs> Honey, he goes to get these rings. And we got another one over there. And you know at Walmart, to save money, they make you check out yourself. So, But um, going to have some college beans. I got my smoked turkey. And we're going to make this do what it do. Perfect combination. God bless you and me. A perfect combination. Who knows who sang that song? Perfect combination. It was a man and a woman. Who sang that song? Go ahead. Drop it in the chat. The chat is where is that? I'm going to get off of here. Y'all know I'm sleepy. I only start singing and acting like this. Well, I sing all throughout the day. However... I am very sleepy, so I'm going to wrap it up in this kitchen. I don't know. The girls need to come down here, and Sharif, and they need to eat this pot pie, and uh, I need to clean up the rest of this stuff, whatever. I'm going to put the banana pudding in the refrigerator. That's going to set overnight. He's going to chop, clean, and blanch those greens, and uh, I'm going to finish um cutting up these yams tomorrow but I just wanted to share with y'all that we have purple we have different color yams that are going to be in our candy yams for tomorrow for dinner with our collard greens and our little Mississippi roast sort of individual roast but um I still have all of these to cut up so over and I might do a video sharing with you these homemade yeast rolls. Very simple recipe. And it should be very good. Okay? Stacy Lada Saw and Johnny Gill. That is correct. Look at you, Brenda. Come through, hunty. Come through. Brenda knows. Okay. I enjoyed all the fun times down memory lane and these songs, sis. I got to run for now, trying to get the little man to fall asleep. But y'all have a very blessed rest of your evening. Bye. Thank y'all for joining me. If you haven't, please hit that thumbs up button to show your girl some love. And if you are new to the channel, make sure you turn on your notification bell for all so that you will know when new content is uploaded. Every day at 12 o'clock, you can go to my community tab and get a little laughter to lift your midday spirits okay in the meantime i will see you in these youtube streets and i still have a vlog going your way but i am constantly um recording new content for more vlogs so anyway just gotta get past this hurdle 129 videos and um yeah we're gonna make it do what it do and i will see you in the aka Ask Sunday about his massage. Okay, Jax, you and my husband, what y'all be talking about? But um, anyway, we're going to just leave that right there. I appreciate y'all. And once again, thank you, Be Rich, for that chat because it helps. And if anybody else want to get to me and you want to give to me via YouTube, you can cash at me at Dorsha Simmons. Yes, I make it easy for people to give me money, honey. Dorsha Simmons, send me a cash app, honey. Yes. All right. Good night. God bless. And I will see you in the streets. Good night. Good night. Farewell. 
to you, my friends.